Hey guys welcome back to Gameplay X4, here's what we have for today's show of the game report. EA Sports NCAA Football Series is back. Game Boy Advance games make it to Nintendo Online subscription, and Mortal Kombat 1's trailer is finally out. EA Sports is making a comeback with its college football series, and this time they're including official player likenesses. In the past, they had to use unofficial rosters because of rules about amateur players, which led to the franchise being put on hold. But now, with new name, image, and likeness rules, players can be paid for their appearances in the game. EA Sports has partnered with One Team Partners to make it happen, and several schools have already opted in. The revenue will be divided equally among the athletes, regardless of their popularity. If some players aren't interested, they'll be replaced with knockoff characters. But let's face it, including all these college athletes is like herding caffeinated cats. They're in and out of the game faster than you can say diploma. Nonetheless, we're excited to see what EA can do with this comeback, especially since their college football games used to be better than Madden. Moving forward, Nintendo is jumping on the Super Mario hype train by bringing the Super Mario Advance series to its Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack subscription service. These games are upgraded versions of the original Super Mario games from back in the day. Get ready for a blast from the past on May 26, 2023. The lineup includes Super Mario Advance, Remastered Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, with Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, sequel to Super Mario World, and Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. Don't worry about the confusing lineup here, these games are top-notch versions of the classic Mario adventures, perfect for your nostalgic gaming sessions on the Nintendo Switch. Finally, Mortal Kombat 1, the reboot of the long-standing fighting series, has been officially revealed after teasing us for a while. The game will be released on September 19th and will be exclusive to the PS5 and Xbox Series X/S, leaving last-gen consoles behind. The reveal trailer shows familiar characters like Shang Tsung, Melina, and Scorpion in what appears to be a more historical setting, giving the series a fresh twist. Interestingly, the Nintendo Switch will also get a cloud-based version of Mortal Kombat 1 alongside the new-gen consoles. However, brace yourself for the price tag, $70 for the console versions, $60 for PC and Nintendo Switch, with a premium edition priced at $110 and a jaw-dropping $250 for the flashy collector's edition. Get ready to fight and break the bank! At last, we got a quick reminder for you guys. Don't forget that Street Fighter 6 Open Beta starts today. If you are looking for a great alternative to Mortal Kombat there is another big fighting game on the horizon. Street Fighter 6 Open Beta lasts through the whole weekend, why wait until Mortal Kombat 1 is out, when you can play a Street Fighter game right now. So that's all we have for today guys, and like always make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your help is much appreciated, see you guys until next time.